Tonight, a family pleads for answers after a man was seriously injured in a hit and run crash. This happened about a month ago on University Drive near Shannon Road in Durham. The driver who struck him took off, but tonight there is a new piece of evidence. CBS 17's Crystal Price spoke with the family who hopes this will help track down that driver. How, how can a person with good conscience be able to just sort of turn their head and um, just drive on? Tonight, Emma McGraw Myers is pleading with the community for answers after her brother, 72 year old Isaac McGraw, was hit by a car while crossing University Drive back on February 7th. The driver who hit him didn't stop. I said, well, he's still living, right? Myers will never forget when she got the call. They said, yeah, but he's pretty banged up. I said, okay, Lord, hang in there with me. She made the trip to Durham the next day, where she found her brother in ICU with broken ribs, a fractured back, and a traumatic brain injury. He pretty much had tubes in every cavity. While he is expected to survive, she says her brother, who is retired from IBM, who still builds websites and is very active in the North Carolina Central University community, may never be able to live on his own again. And tonight, it's been about a month since that accident, and police say that they still have no leads. But they recently released some surveillance video they're hoping will help them catch that driver. In this video, you see a white Chevrolet truck or SUV leaving the scene. Police say they think this is the person who hit McGraw. Myers is hoping that someone will recognize this vehicle. He's given of his time. He's given back. And we want him to live his best life. But at this point, it's been compromised. In Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.